won't see the bone too much. So we have benign and malignant. And malignant. The benign include osteochondroma, osteoma, osteoide osteoma, osteoide osteoma, osteoblastoma, osteoblastoma, um, giant cell tumor, and chondroma. And to the malignant one, we have osteosarcoma, osteosarcoma, Ewing sarcoma, and, um, and chondrosarcoma. Chondrosarcoma. All right, so, let's begin with those that include cartilage. This is the chondroma and chondrosarcoma. So, in both on the x-ray, we could see a popcorn appearance and calcification. Here the calcification is like stipple, stipple calcification. This is benign and occur most often on the bone marrow of the small bones, like the hand or the, or the feet. And this occur on the pelvis. Uh, and rarely is the malignant transformation of the chondroma, usually it arises from the knob. Most of these are resistant to chemotherapy, so the treatment is surgical removal. And if we do not treat this, it eventually will metastasize to the lung. This is seen in patients between 30 and 60 years of age. And with the chondromas or uh, echondromas, we have some syndromes associated with that include, for example, Mafuchi. This is chondromas with hemangioblastomas, uh, or we have something called hereditary uh, exotosis that is hereditary chondromas. Anyway, so um, this in involves the cartilage. So, in histological examination, we will see as the image of cartilage. Uh, just now, the uh, osteochondroma that is this. Here we also have the word chondroma. This is because we have the bone. This is the diaphysis, epiphysis, and this is the metaphysis. Here in the metaphysis, we have a outgrowth of bone. This is the tumor, but it is surrounded by a cap of cartilage. So this is osteochondroma. This is the tumor. And this is seen on man less than 25 years of age. And this is how we will see it on the X-ray. All right, so that was for the for the cartilage. Let's continue with this stuff. The confusing names. Osteoma is associated with Gardner syndrome, in which the fascial bones are involved. In Gardner syndrome, we have tumors of the soft tissue and bone, like the fascial bones. Osteoide osteoma is a tumor um, that produces osteoid. osteoid. So we have the osteoblast in the trabeculi uh, forming bone and bone that then is converted into osteoid. So here we would see on the x-ray a radiolucent cord or cord, a radiolucent cord of an uh, osteoid. Here the patient presents with pain on the back or in the back or maybe most often on the extremity, mostly on the night and it is relieved by aspirin. Relieved, relieved by aspirin. And the size of the tumor is less than two centimeters. This in comparison to osteoblastoma, here they uh, the historical appearance is mostly the same, but the tumor size is greater than 2 cm and this does not respond to, to aspirin. Lastly, the giant cell tumor 
this it is considered benign but it actually could be malignant he will have overexpression of the rank ligand this is on the osteoblast but the interaction between the rank ligand of the osteoblast and the rank receptor of the osteoclast produces the activation and proliferation of osteoclasts so even though the primary uh, issue is that we have increased rank ligand that is on the osteoblast the result is that we have a lot of proliferation of the osteoclast so this is giant cell tumor is also called a osteoclastoma and on the x-ray we will see a, a soap bubble appearance so here we have the bone this is the diaphysis metaphysis and epiphysis on the epiphysis we have like this appearance of soap bubble and the malignant ones we just have now to see a wing sarcoma and osteosarcoma osteosarcoma is seen mostly on children adolescents if it is seen in a adult, it's usually secondary to Lee-Fraumeni syndrome. This is a inactivated mutation of the P53 protein. Yeah. Or it is seen on hereditary um, retinoblastoma. Or in patients with, with a lot of tumors in all over the place. All right. So, um, the patient will have necrosis and hemorrhage on the uh, gross examination of the tumor. The X-ray, exactly before doing this examination, would look as a sunburst. So, here we have radiation of the mass, spicules at a 90 degree angle. And we will also have that the growing bone is elevating the periosteum so we have something called the Cotman triangle <clears throat> all right and lastly a wing sarcoma this is part of the blue small neuroendocrine um, tumors here we have a translocation between the 11 and 22 chromosome and the size, uh, sorry, and the um, protein that is missed uh, form is the M, is the MIG, MIG2. But uh, anyway, um, so in a sarcoma, we will see it usually in patients male uh, before. 15 years of age.